Welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that you can see from the title. It is going to be a clean with me video. Some sort of whole house deep clean. I don't know exactly what I'm going to name this, but I do know I need to organize as well. And if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So, I know mostly my deep cleans and clean with me videos will usually start like in the bedroom, kitchen, that type of area. Today we're actually going to start in my guest room, office, YouTube studio, whatever you want to call it, in my actual guest bathroom and closet. That's what we need to focus on the most today. Um, I need to organize, reorganize my cabinets and my um, drawers and stuff in the guest bathroom as well as my guest bathroom. Um, the closet is in the bathroom, so the guest closet it's a mess we need to reorganize figure out a system because right now it's just a dump all and like a junkyard in there so we really really need to get that under control after that we're going to start organizing and cleaning up in we'll probably do the um like my sheets and everything are clean i already did that uh, not too long ago like a couple days ago so we'll probably just make the bed and i do need to actually deep clean my shower um so yeah my apartment i just need to like straighten up a few things put things away my apartment is already clean but i do need to go a little bit like a deeper cleaning for like the stove microwave the shower things of that nature um that's mostly what we're going to be focused on this time so yeah i do plan to record a lot of short form content tomorrow so y'all know me i can't function in mess so this is the room that i'm more <laughs> excuse me this is the room that I mostly like record content in and then I do need the rest of my house clean because so I do want to film some what I bought versus what I got a lot of those things from Amazon I got a whole bunch of new you know things from Amazon so I am trying to build my TikTok back up if you don't know my TikTok was banned suspended deleted whatever I can't get back into it so I made a new one it is the same as my Instagram handle underscore Kira with three A's at the end you can go follow me I got like 200 followers right now I only posted like three videos so I am going to try to get back into TikTok I would like to post about three times a week on that so anyway that's besides the point let's go ahead and start cleaning um like I said my guest room isn't that bad but I do need to just tidy up a little bit so that when I do come back in here to start filming content later on today and tomorrow and like edit and stuff it'll just be you know a fresh space and a clear mind <laughs> for me just to get to work and what is a deep clean with me without some tunes okay um if you didn't know i just found out like last year that you can airplay all your tvs in your freaking house or apartment or whatever but i'm just gonna go ahead and play the one that's in here in the guest room so i think this is the name of that one <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of tired of this being on my door. Um, I do want to kind of transform this room, so I am looking to buy a new vanity. I don't know if I already said that before in another vlog, but this is the vanity that I have. I've had this since like 2018, 2019 when it was really cool to start building your own vanity back then when I was in college. But as you can see, this, the whole light bulb that came out the thing, I, I built this whole thing myself. This is falling off. I got all of this stuff from like Amazon, um, Home Depot, Michael's store. This glass is from a glass shop and I just built it and like put it all together to make a vanity. So I've been on Amazon and Home Depot actually I didn't even know Home Depot sold <laughs> vanities so I am looking to buy a new one from either like Amazon um Amazon has some affordable ones but Amazon shipping is like $80 flat for everything and I'm like the one from Home Depot is on sale for like $242 right now and the ones from Amazon even if I um you know I got Amazon Prime and all of that it'll still be more than $242 so I'm kind of torn on which one I want to go with 
either one knees can turn <laughs> either one i do choose to go with i do have um you know the fetch rewards app that i always talk about i'm going to get a 50 dollar gift card so home depot is on there as well as amazon obviously so whichever one i do decide to go with i'm going to use my gift card for that to make the price come down a little bit more but yeah i do plan on doing a new vanity now this mirror i am probably going to keep in I probably will like get a frame to put around it to make it look a little bit better uh, whenever like I do move or anything like that so this mirror was $50 it's like they literally cut it to my dimensions and everything so that mirror is still really good like I said when I move or something I'll just buy a frame to put around it to make it look like you know I actually bought it from the store so oh yeah that may be an easier way <laughs> to actually get like a cheaper mirror um, just literally go to a glass shop get your dimensions printed out and then just buy a frame and put it in the frame. So, yeah, I'm helping y'all out. I'm gonna go ahead and put up my new office chair and that brings us to today's sponsor. Thank you so much, Kalami, for sponsoring this portion of the video. This is my new office chair that they sent over to me and I cannot wait to unbox it for you guys. VoiceOver Cura will tell you all the details and the specs about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and jam out to my music, unbox this, put it together, set it up, and then I'm gonna give you guys my first initial impression when I do sit down in it for the very first time. So. The Kalami Atlas Mesh Office Chair is a premium seating solution for a comfortable and productive workspace. The key features include the headrest, mesh material, armrest, backrest, lumbar support, and the design. Putting this together took me probably about like 15-20 minutes, so not bad at all. I will say this bottom piece where the wheels go is heavy. Well, that's not heavy. Putting the chair on top of that bottom piece was heavy. Um, because the cushion is so well made, it just made like it's so hard to put it on top so definitely maybe get another person um i kind of struggled so i leaned the chair over and then pulled the chair up As you can see me playing with the swing away armrest, it can be stopped at your ideal height. People who are taller or with longer arms, it can also help and support their elbows to rest on them. It can be fully relaxed. This right there is that lumbar support that I was telling you about is to prevent back pain and protect your fine. The back wrist is very flexible and supportive. As you can see, it holds a 90 degree spot. You can lock it in place. It raises back up and down in a multi-lock position with bolts that keep it in place for years. It holds up to about 300 pounds with very strong screws and bolts which do not bend or strip out this right here is that mesh comfortable breathable and strong material especially for sweaty people baby i love it this is probably one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat in, no lie. The mesh stretches to hold you and you will never feel a tight spot or point of pressure. So we're going to switch out this old chair like we're done with her. <laughs> Switching into the new Colony Atlas and I absolutely love it. It feels amazing, looks amazing. The only thing that I wish is that it did come in black. It only comes in this color and another gray, like a light gray and then like a darker gray i guess but i went ahead and switched out my chairs sat in this one um i am currently using this one now my other chair i'm gonna sell that one but i absolutely love it so as you can see you're able to adjust the arms adjust the neck rest adjust the lumbar support it's just a very very cool adjustable little bitty chair and the headrest it's very supportive it gets in the right spot by maneuvering to your perfect fit instead of hitting your shoulders it gives your neck a good relaxing feel and it's very helpful for people with cervical discomfort. So don't forget to check down below in the description box. All the links and discount codes and everything will be down below. As always, thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. Definitely go check them out. Like I said, this is by far the best chair that I've ever sat in. The design is really, really nice. The cushion is immaculate. I definitely love this and 10 out of 10 definitely recommend this to you guys. I'm kind of torn on what I really want to do with this room and how I want to decorate and place everything. Um, so I kind of want to rearrange some stuff um but i really don't know what this room isn't that big for all the freaking stuff that i have in here so 
obviously the way that i'm turned right now the lighting is the best because the window is behind me well in front of me right now so behind the camera so when i record i like to have a cute background because if i try to turn if i put my desk right here on this wall then it's going to look like this when i try to record and that's not cute then if i turn it this way obviously that's even worse and then from right here it's fine but i really need this type of lighting right here so that's what i'm trying to figure out where i want my desk i did put my older desk over here in the corner but facing that way but since this is like my display wall for my beauty brand and stuff like that um and i do actually want to when i restock fill this wall up with hair like on the racks and stuff so where my couch is over there i was thinking of you can see that my couch is right there so i was thinking to maybe put my desk right there in the middle but then since my chair you know i can lean back and stuff in it i won't be able to do that as much that's why i do like having it right here but i don't know i just i just need to move some stuff around and i think i'm about to go ahead and get rid of this rug i already took a picture of it because it's annoying and since i do a lot of hair content and stuff in here it's just this rug just it's not it, it catches too much stuff so i'm gonna clean it up put it on facebook marketplace for probably like 20 dollars and hope it um sells immediately but i'm trying to figure out a way to just rearrange my room i do want to buy a new vanity um so i kind of want to go ahead and take that down but then it's like hmm will i need that vanity anytime <laughs> you know will i need that anytime soon i don't think i will so i don't know i've been measuring out for a new vanity as well so we'll see but i was thinking of moving my desk over here against that wall and put this couch over here on this wall that's how i used to have it like yeah. i just i just need this room to be functional and not look raggedy like it's just a storage room i feel like the wall is cute but everything else in here just makes it look like storage and that's not really what i'm going for so i'm about to try to move some stuff around and then want to go organize my guest bathroom closet and then we're going to get to cleaning the kitchen living room and all that and i'm still in my freaking guest room trying to organize and clean this room up well not clean just rearrange furniture and things like that um so yeah this chair i absolutely love um y'all know i got that other office chair i like that one because you can raise like your feet up but this one is 10 times more comfortable i just wish it came in black so what i'm going to do is probably like spray paint the legs black to at least make it somewhat black and then see what other thing I could like possibly do. Um, but this one by far feels better and it's more comfortable. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, but other than that, so y'all know I got that Peloton bike, right? It's in my guest room closet, taking up so much space. And I also got this rowing machine that taking up so much space. Um, so. <laughs> I decided that I'm going to get a, um, who is that? okay, anyways, I decided to pay for a storage. What made me think about it was I was watching, um, Jada, I don't really know how to say her name, Jada Johnette or Jeanette, Jada Johnette, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And before she had just moved into her apartment, she, you know, had her stuff in the storage and stuff. And I'm like, you know what, you own something. So until I, um, get a house and stuff. 
I'm just gonna put that in the storage. So the Peloton bike is going in there. The rowing machine is going in there. Um, obviously I only need one computer chair. So for the time being, um, I gotta decide which computer chair that I wanna keep in here. I like my other one because it's black and it matches the aesthetics in the room, but this one is 10 times more comfortable. So I gotta figure that out. But one of these chairs are gonna go in there. <laughs> and then just anything else that i need to put in there so i'm going to have a storage unit and that's going to free up so much more space in here so i cannot wait for that um i'll probably go try to do that definitely not probably this week um maybe next week sometime i'll probably try to do that to get this stuff out of here and i like that who i chose to go with they're um doing a special to where you can get a free month off your like monthly uh storage rent payment and then they also let you use um one of their trucks for free to like pack up the stuff so yeah i definitely gotta wait till my boyfriend has some help to take all that stuff down but i am excited just to go ahead and get that out of my apartment i don't know why i didn't think of that sooner especially me getting all this stuff from you know companies and just every type of collaboration possible um bigger larger items i will be able to you know Put away in that storage unit so definitely i'm looking to doing that um my room is basically down there put together i'm gonna stop right here and we're gonna go start on the um guest bathroom and the closet because some of this stuff i do need to like put in the closet but i need to like organize it a little bit better and then the stuff that i don't want to keep in there i can just put it in the storage unit so i do have a storage unit out in my um like here that came with the apartment out uh, out by the patio but i use all of that for my seasonal decor like all of my christmas hollow all the seasons decor is in there along with a few other like random little things so that's what i got in there so i can't put none of this stuff in there i literally gotta go get a storage so the rest of the stuff i'm gonna see do I want to keep it, throw it out, or do I plan on putting it in storage? So we're going to go ahead and move on to my guest bedroom. Well, I mean my guest bathroom because, like I said, it is already 228. And I've been trying to figure this out for too long now. I think I started this at, what, 11 o'clock? Like 11, 12 o'clock. So, yeah, we're about to go ahead and go into my bathroom and figure that out. I'm about to turn my music back on. And I want to be done with this by at least 5 o'clock because I still got to clean the rest of my house. TJ Maxx Home Goods, somewhere like that. So since you can't really see inside of it, I'm gonna use this to basically replace this ugly American Eagle bag and all of this. So these are like old wigs from years ago. And then also from my brand, I sell raw hair and now virgin hair. So this is like hair that I've had put in that you know I just kept. So I need to go through it and try to remember <laughs> what is what. So that's what I'm going to do. Go through all of this, put the stuff that I want and going to keep inside of this so you can't really see what's in here. And then I'm going to put this back on that shelf. Fun fact, I 
actually made this wig this was like 2017 2018 when i was really trying to get into making like my own wigs and stuff so literally this is just a wig cap from the hair store and i literally sewed on the uh wefts <laughs> and yeah i sewed on a little clip and yeah this is I think this is the first wig I made. If this isn't the first wig I made, I also made a wig out of some blue hair that I had. So when I take out bundles back then in like 2018, 2019, I would try to make it into a wig myself. And yeah, it's still holding up. I made this so long ago. And this is when I used to wear this cute uh, burgundy magenta type of color. Um, absolutely love it. I may run that bag for this fall, but yeah, I literally sewed on the west and everything. <laughs> I used to wear this girl, I used to wear this wig down, and it's actually pretty flat. Like, I feel like I did a really, really good job with this one. So, I think I'm not gonna wear it, I don't believe, but I kind of want to keep it just because of sentimental value. Like, this is one of the first ones I've ever made and put together. How cute is that? I think I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not gonna keep it in that box. This one because I need to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm gonna throw that box out. This have no idea what this is. Oh, this is just goodies that I've gotten. it's 4 35 um i just took a little lunch break so that i could <clears throat> oh, somebody just doing that so that i could eat um watching a little youtube video i got this setup right here because i am going to start editing so my guest <clears throat> room is completely done um i rearranged everything so basically behind me as you can see i have the two little racks those are just like shower towel racks and then i have two more of those racks as well right here so when i do do a full inventory restock i'm gonna have like raw hair over here virgin hair over here and these two racks are gonna go one is gonna go right there the other one's gonna go right there so this wall is basically my <coughs> display wall my cute wall to have a cute background with and then i got my couch right there prince little bed is right there but i'm probably gonna move it out of here and then i don't have anywhere to put that beer for right now Ugh, so i got it right there that's why i cannot wait to get this storage unit oh this was looking a little chap period this is the um maybelline new york in the shade ice 002 super cute um so yeah what was i saying oh i need a storage unit really really bad so i'm gonna put that beer in the storage unit the workout stuff all of that in the unit and i'm gonna give y'all a little overview of the room and this is the wall that i just showed y'all then i got my other wall over here i'm just gonna use this as my display wall for right now i guess so that's like more collabs that i need to do unboxings just all that type of stuff and then i move my desk over here i got my new chair over here because this one is so comfortable desk over here diploma certificates uh, business llc all of that over there i'm keeping prints right there for now and then like i said this is going to go in my storage closet that rolling machine and then this is like my little shipping and packing station and i have my vanity right here but like i told y'all um, i have one in my amazon cart and one on home depot that i'm looking into getting so all this is going to be completely different and then i just put the mirror right here because i honestly don't have anywhere else to put this in my room in here and i already have a mirror in my bedroom in my living room so there's nowhere else to put it i'm going to keep it though because i do actually really like it it's the one that you can um touch there you go so yeah that's the type of mirror that is um i don't want to get rid of that because i actually really do like it and so this room is completely organized in here my closet looks 10 times better that right there is like my workout stuff some travel stuff 
that's some more shipping supplies y'all saw that i put those wigs in there when i do a household item restock that's going to be filled with tissue and paper towels and then up top those are just blankets i'm going to take that to my storage as well a lot of that stuff i'm going to keep up there but some of those blankets i'm gonna go ahead and take into storage and then like i told y'all i got the exercise bike in here and then just kind of stuff my luggage and all of that kind of over there that i need to give away that i need to give away so some of this stuff is going to be actually given away as well i threw away oh, oh. i threw away a lot of stuff here's a big bag of stuff that y'all saw me with i'm about to go ahead and take this no i'm gonna leave this for my man because it's too damn heavy <laughs> this is a bag of trash it's like old clothes shoes um actual trash just random stuff that was in the closet that i don't um need anymore or like some of the clothes i took to play those closet to try to get money for a few times they didn't give me anything so i'm just gonna throw it away because i, I mean i'm not gonna do anything with it so my boyfriend come back over here I'm gonna see if he can take this down for me because I did kind of take it down. It is a little heavy. Oh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take Prince outside to use the bathroom and go potty and stuff. I'm gonna feed him and it is 4.40. So by the time I get back, it should be about five o'clock when I actually get ready to start cleaning again. I just needed about an hour break. <laughs> I need to, you know, remind myself to start taking like a lunch break because I am actually working. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to set a timer to like do a speed clean. Um, I'm going to start cleaning at 5. So I would really like to be done by like 6, 6.30. So I am going to set a speed timer for one hour. And I don't know, when I work with a speed timer, it just makes me go a little bit faster and like get things done a lot quicker. So I'm going to blast music throughout the apartment, set a timer for an hour. After that hour is up, I'm going to allot myself 30 more minutes to like just maybe tidy up a little bit more if I need to. Maybe I'll say folded clothes for last so that I can like sit down and fold the clothes during those 30 minutes. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. If I go ahead and take him out. Um and yeah, finish the rest of this apartment so we can be done. second every minute man i swear that she can get it say if you a bad bitch put your hands up high hands up high hands up high tell them dim the lights down right now put me in the mood i'm talking about dark moon perfume go go I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know you taste this a little bit, mm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you and you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen, better yet with your friends and them. I really want to know you all, I really want to show you off, fuck that, pour up plenty of champagne, cold nights when you curse this name, you called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range, I heard that, she wanna go and party, she wanna go and party, nigga don't approach her with that Atari, nigga that ain't good game home is sorry, they say conversation, rule a nation, I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs, lest I write it down for real, P.S.
I really hope you play this, cause oh girl, you test my patience with all these seductive photographs and all these one-off vacations you've been taking. Clearly a lot for me to take in, and it don't make sense, young East African girl, you too busy fucking with your other man. I was trying to put you on game, put you on a plane, take you and your mama to the motherland. I could do it, maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone. When you figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't run from where we come from. That sound like poetic justice, poetic justice. So we have 29 minutes left on our timer. Um, I'm making my bed just about done, but I forgot. So I have that back black pillow, and then I have another black pillow that goes up there. But I wanted to have three pillows going across, and I just remembered that I had bought another one of those. I think I showed y'all that um, in a different vlog. But these are just from Walmart. <clears throat> they're the Euro Better Homes and Gardens brand, and they're like $7.80 or 90 something cent literally no more than like eight dollars for this freaking pillow and it's huge so i bought these pillowcases from amazon they're linked in my storefront it's the same ones obviously that's up there they do come in a two-pack though um i mean which is good but i only need one of them unless i decide to do four pillows but since these are pretty big these are um what size is this 20 i don't remember what size it is 26 by 26 so i'm gonna go ahead and stuff this in here and we're just gonna make my bed i've been trying to hang on to these to like put them in the perfect vlog or the perfect video and girl we're just about to stuff these up because i want my bed to look how i want it to look got a zipper on the bottom come on don't embarrass me now all right unzip and then we're gonna stuff this in here you were so new to this life but goddamn you got to just it i mean i write poems in these songs dedicated to the fun sex your natural hair your soft skin and your big ass and that sundress Ooh. good god what you doing that walk for when i see that thing move i just wish we would fight yes so we would talk more they say communication save relations i can tell but i can never write my wrongs unless i write them down for real P.S. These are some slides that I bought in Miami and I like to use these to clean my shower with because I don't like to step my feet on those chemicals. I do like to go ahead and kind of hand scrub the walls first and then I'll go in with that little scrub brush that I got from Amazon. It will always be linked in my Amazon storefront. I just feel like I can get a better clean with doing the walls myself rather than trying to use this little brush. I do like the brush for bending down and reaching up very high. That comes in handy but everything else I still use my own two hands for. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30 day trial before I made my mind and it's always yeah, yeah, yeah. Trials and tribulations. Uh -huh. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main is child for now. Child, child. She got me wildin' now. Worry, it's tired, child, child for now. Child, child. So it is 7.10. I could only imagine, girl, if I woke up at 11, 12 o'clock today because I had woke up at like 9.30 and stuff, but didn't really get started until about 11. I could only imagine getting started at like 1, 2 o'clock and I would still be going until like 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm done cleaning everything. Everything smells good in here. It looks good in here. Kitchen looks really, really nice. Got my candle burning. That is from Home Goods. That is clean. Got my spoon out because I got some food in the oven up here is clean got my cup out because i'm drinking that 
everything smells good looks good the living room's completely cleaned and i already showed y'all up in here so what i'm about to do right now i was gonna close out the vlog but i'm like you know what let me maybe try to set these mirrors up that i was telling y'all about in the other vlog so i have these two black mirrors and i told y'all that i were gonna that i was gonna put it you know how everybody do the mirrors up there but i didn't know if i wanted black or white so this white one is from walmart but i've been having this for years now um this one is i think those mirrors right here since they're thinner they're about seven eight dollars and then this one has a little bit thicker border so i think these run about 10 or 11. so i was going to see remember i couldn't decide if i wanted white or black so i'm gonna hold these up and y'all can comment down below and tell me which ones look better so this is the white one if i was to get white that's how that one looks i think what y'all think what y'all think which one look better i'm about to replay this clip and see which one i like and then we'll come back i don't know i kind of wish the black one <laughs> had a thicker frame on it like the white one then i think i really really like that one a little better but i didn't see that in walmart so i'm gonna go ahead and put up the black one since i mean i got it since these are fairly light i'm going to use these little nails that i got from um walmart i did white one so i'll be able to see them really easily um these don't seem like they're too heavy so oh shit oh girl <laughs> oh my gosh it's definitely not gonna work i'm gonna have to use a little bitty screw So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. We're on a road to 50K, period. Um, I like that thus far. I think what I'm going to do is put a command strip on the back of it, though, to make sure it's, like, secure on there. Um, I got a few command strips back. Well, I got a few command strips that I can put on the back of that. So I'm probably going to do one at the top and one at the bottom just to make sure it's secure. And I'm going to do it at the top and the bottom of that one as well. My room is coming together. Y'all know I'm completely done um, furnishing my living room, dining room, kitchen, all of that space. Now I'm focusing on my bedroom and my guest room. So the only thing I need left really in here is to get those lights like I got in my living room to go over my two pictures right here. And then I got that right there. I would like to have something in the middle. I was thinking of doing black and white photos of me um, to kind of keep it, you know, on brand. And maybe doing three up there in black and white. Um, or like, I would say a big picture. But since I already got those, I don't really think I could maybe find something to go up there. So I may just go ahead and print out some black and white photos of me. Or I may do... Um, a uh, um neon sign maybe um i got a neon sign y'all know in my beauty room guest room in there that say ajb beauty collection but in here i was thinking of maybe doing like an all white sign just like that one and putting um akira janae up there i'm not sure we'll see it's either that or it's going to be pictures in black and white of me if y'all have some other suggestion then comment down below um i would love maybe some type of 3d art like how i got in my dining room area um, so yeah, we'll just see. I'm, you know, not rushing anything. I'm here until the rest of this year. And then next year I am moving though. So basically I'm kind of doing all this for no reason. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, so yeah, that's all. I'm about to probably eat again. Eat me one of my last few cupcakes that's in there for my birthday. And I'm about to lay down. I need to finish a video for this company i sent it out to them but then these companies they be on your a about time so i had signed a contract for no less than three minutes and it's literally 11 seconds short of three minutes so whatever i'm gonna add in a few little i'll probably add in another like 
20 to 30 seconds for them and then send that off again tonight so i gotta record a couple more clips put it in the software save that video upload it to youtube then send it to them i'm doing that for sure tonight so i can get paid or they can like send in my payment um yeah i need to edit this vlog that you guys are watching now and i need to edit my birthday vlog that i still haven't edited yet um I was going to post that today, but I mean, hell, it's already 7 o'clock and I haven't even started editing that. So, I may post my birthday vlog on Thursday, this Thursday, and then the rest of the vlogs that kind of follow behind that. Because that vlog has to go out first before all of this. Because in that vlog, I'm going to show me putting up those picture frames and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, that's what's going on. Uh, I'm probably going to play some body on YouTube and let them be in the background while I um, finish up this little video. I'm gonna eat again and then chill out. Tomorrow is my last off day. I do go back to work on Thursday and Thursday I got a dentist appointment at 10 in the morning. So that's gonna take up a little bit of my morning as well. So like I said, tomorrow my last off day. I do plan to shoot a lot of short form content. So we'll see. But that's all, I'm running my mouth. I'll see you guys in my next video. Like I said, don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Just do it. And I'll see you lovelies in my next video. Bye, guys. I know I'm